What's up, fellas? Mobay 876 RC sounding back on, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I paint my RC bodies. So I got a clear armor and fraction body right here. Um, I'm not gonna keep my windows clear, so I don't need to worry about masking off the body. But if you wanted to mask off your body, you would actually want to do that first after you wash your body out thoroughly and wipe it out. So uh, the paint that I'll be using today is uh, Candy Orange by Duratrax. This is one of my favorite brand paints to use because they normally stick on the body pretty good. Orange Candy, you go to numbers right there. And then for the backer, I'll be using Duratrax. This is uh, Silver Streak. So I'm going to be starting off with the orange. You always want to make sure that you shake the can up real nice before you even hit it on the body. Shake it up real good. Once you do that, take the top off, spray it out a little bit, make sure it ain't coming out splotchy. I'm going to shake it up just a little bit more. And when you actually start to paint your body, just kind of double check and make sure you don't got no lint, no fingerprints, or nothing like that. Then you just want to hit that spray one more time and gently apply your first layer of paint onto your body. And as you can see, I got it about a good two feet away. If that. Your first coat, you want it to be super light where it just got a thin sheet of paint on there, as you guys can see. And for this body, I do have uh, three cans of the candy orange. You never want to spray your uh, your body with the can like on it like this. You're definitely going to get some runs. As you can see, you can tell already what color I'm going for. Real light with your first layer, fellas. Real light. This video is mainly for somebody who uh, don't know how to paint a body or somebody new getting into the hobby. But then you still got a lot of guys that have uh, been in the hobby for years, like I was before I actually actually started painting my own bodies. I'm actually probably uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna speed up the process kind of get down to the point let you guys check it out because I know a lot of people don't watch long videos this body gonna be nasty fellas not keeping it too close and as you notice I'm going up and down or side to side Just trying to get first layer on. Once I get my first coat on and I feel like it's good on there enough for me, what I normally do is let it sit for about five minutes and then I take my girl's blow dryer and hit it with that. Let it sit for another five to 10 minutes and then go back out there and hit it with another coat. So far, so good, fellas. So far, so good. Got the first layer on. I'm gonna let it sit and dry for about five minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna hit it with a second coat, fellas. And I feel rain coming, so I had to postpone this for a minute. And I hate to do that, but it is what it is. Now you can go a little bit more crazy on it, but you still wanna keep your distance while painting your body. The hardest thing to do when painting the RC body, man, is getting in the cuts and crevices like right around here towards the back. A lot of times in the front bumper when they got little dips and all that stuff in it. So this is after the first can of paint is applied to the body. This is a big body. I would definitely recommend at least three cans for whatever kind of paint that you plan on using. If you paint like a limitless body, Mojave body, and fraction body, just from my experience, Let's go ahead and crack open the second can. Alright. Let's spray this body up some more. That candy's starting to appear nice. 
real nice. Got to get them angles. Nothing like a nice candy paint job when it's all said and done, my G's. So I got two full cans of paint on the body so far. Lexan still look kind of see-through. Just wait till I hit it with this last can and then hit it with the silver backer. And at the end of that, I'm gonna hit it with some uh, bed liner. All right, we on the third can. Shake it up real quick. Now you can get this tab closer to the body. You'll notice that paint is starting to stick a little bit better each time you put a more, another coat on there. Man, I need to have a mask on doing this. Be high as hell by the time I'm done painting this body, fellas. Be on cloud nine. This right here, fellas, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with that silver streak. You wanna make sure that paint is like caked up on the body. All three cans of candy orange paint sprayed up on the infraction body. Now it's ready for the backer. I'm gonna be hitting it with this uh, silver streak right here now that's when you're going to start to see the magic fellas yes sir this is once you start to get real excited man when you're spraying the body especially if you ain't had no runs or nothing like that on the body before you got to this point you're going to really see that candy pop Slow. Just drop the can, it's all good. Hopefully I'm holding this body at the right angle for this GoPro to catch it. Just trying something different, fellas. Shout out to the fam. Make sure you go subscribe to my brothers. So I'm going to be using truck bed coating. This is going to stiffen up the body and uh, give it a nice solid feel on the inside of the body. Shake up this can. I'm going to spray this body up with two layers of this two coats and I'm gonna let it sit for like a day Max come on bro starting to rain so I'm gonna make this super quick Caught a buzz, think I caught a buzz.
quick look inside the body real quick, fellas. Check out that uh, bed liner. Make it look like it's still wet. But it's also got a more richer feel to the body now, as you can see. Definitely recommend uh, start spraying your bodies on the inside with the bed liner, especially if you are a basher. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.